Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In this quick video, I just want to show you how you can cut up your seed potatoes. You let them dry in the house three to five days, they scab over and you can plant them. And it's just a way to really be able to plant more potatoes. In theory, you could cut everything down here, you see, into halves or even quarters. I just don't need that many potatoes. So I'm just gonna show you the basic way I do it. I pretty much start with picking out the seed potatoes, I buy them at different nurseries and places around here. Tractor Supply often has seed potatoes. I break them down into basically the two on the right, something larger, the ones on the left, something smaller, and I really don't cut the smaller ones. I just plant them as is. Again, I'm not cutting them as much as I can, but I just want to show you the basic process. I already sorted out. These are all my red Pontiacs. Those are the smaller ones I'm keeping. And if again, if you wanted, you could cut them in half. You'd have even more to plant and you'll increase your yield. But I took the bigger ones and I just cut them up just like that. I have them flipped over so that you can see that I tried to keep, you know, pretty much the same number of eyes on each side when you can. But you want them to dry face up like this in the house three to five days. You want this to scab over. So when you go plant this in the ground, the wound, the wound has healed and molds, fungus don't get in there and it really just prevents your potatoes from rotting. Visually, you take the larger potato and you know, you don't need to draw a line down it, but that's what it looks like. You just draw a line and then you would cut it in half. I already cut that obviously. And you want it to look something like that. You can't always get the same number of eyes on each side. Let it scab over. I'll cut a potato real quick as an example. Some people have been asking what my house looks like. Here's a quick look of part of the kitchen and into the living area. This is an 1867 farmhouse. We kind of fixed it up over the last four years. Eventually I'll give you guys a tour of the house because I did one way in the beginning when I first got the property and I think maybe it'd be interesting to show you how we changed it up. All right, let me just show you how I cut these, a basic potato, in half. Red Pontiacs, they're all facing cut side up. Some people do get sulfur and put sulfur on here. That again helps prevent fungus and molds from getting on there. But I found if you let these dry three to five days, they turn out just fine really. So Yukon Gold, the smaller ones are back there. I'm gonna plant those. And again, in theory, you can cut these down. I just wanna stress that you don't have to follow me on the sides and just cut this in half. You can cut this into quarters. You could cut the smaller ones down. Also, when you're looking at your seed potatoes, like this one is beat up here, I would just cut that off. I wanna make sure it's nice and clean. There aren't a lot of eyes on here. I would just let it dry. But any damaged parts, just cut off and remove. So here's a bigger potato. The eyes are predominantly over here on this side. There's one right there. And I would just cut right down the middle. That's perfect and let that dry. Here's another example. Let's see if we can find a better one. So when you let your potatoes chit, that's putting them into a brown bag, letting them sit for a while. The red Pontiacs have done better. They're gonna sprout out. So it's a little bit easier sometimes to identify the eyes and make the cut. But even on this, like we wouldn't have to go right down the middle. We can just take off maybe a third. That's the cut, let it dry. There's eyes on here. We'll see if they form. And they're all just gonna vary depending on the potato. The chitting again lets the eye come out, kind of sprout, and then it's a little bit easier to figure out where you wanna make the cuts. I'm looking for a good example. So here's a good example. We have one, two, three, four, and I would cut right down this way. And that's all I'm gonna do for all of my potatoes. I'm actually gonna do that. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. But this is how I'm getting prepped to plant my potatoes in the ground in containers in the ground in my no dig bed. And today I think is the 13th of March, this weekend. These will all be going out into the ground. So middle of March, towards the end of March, I'm getting potatoes in the first wave here in Maryland zone seven. If I didn't mention those are Yukon Gold. So these are the red Norlands and they've, you know, sprouted, chitted nicely. So it's a lot easier to see where you're cutting these. So I would go right down here. Looks like I can cut straight down and then I end up with something like that. 
and that's good. You really probably want two or three eyes on each side, so I've got three here, four on that side. That's a great And cut. again, two or three each section, that's fine. If you want to cut them more, you can do that, but this works perfectly well for my garden needs. I'm pretty much finished up for getting the potatoes ready for uh, this weekend. I'll be doing videos on planting potatoes, harvesting, everything really to do with vegetable gardening. If you want to subscribe and follow me, I'll be glad to teach you how to grow food. So we have Kennebex, always mess up the name, Red Pontiacs, Yukon Gold, and Red Norlands. These are going to dry three to five days. Quick look, this is my kitchen. See if the uh, sun settles a little bit there so you can see it better. Hopefully I'll be doing cooking videos right out of here come the spring, later spring, middle of the summer. Cut your potatoes in half, let them dry three to five days, scab over, and then go ahead and plant them into your garden. Thanks so, for, so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. Again, I'll show you how to grow food.